Okay, folks, uh, Jason, Painfully Honest Tech, back again. Did that iOS 14 tips video and people seem to like it, so I figured I'd do another iOS 14 tips video. This time, it's the top five iOS 14 organization tips that will change your life. Let's go ahead and get into the tips without any more delay. Organization tip number one. Organize your home pages in a sort of most used, most needed, most wanted, and then app drawer kind of way. So most needed can be defined in a bunch of different ways, but for me, I'm trying to get myself back into listening to, for, to more music, so I put the largest of the possible music apps right here in my number one screen. Use the largest one because it not only shows you what you've been listening to and it not only gives you a, a way to get into the app, but it gives you some of the albums that you've listened to and then some of your playlists that you've listened to so you can get back into something that you've been listening to not, not too long ago that's not the thing that you were just listening to. So I can like tap the Beatles and takes me to the Beatles next step. I can go to my favorites mix, I can go to my chill out mix, I can go to my 70s, yeah, all kinds of things. You've got three different kinds of widgets available to you here in iOS. You've got a kind of long horizontal one, a small square one, and then you've got this larger square one. And the larger square one is in the music app just gives you so much information that I decided to do that. Now, I, this is my number one screen. This is my home screen. And I put this here because these are the things that I want to have right in front of me. These couple of things on the page, plus phone, internet, messages, camera. That's what I wanted in my dock the whole time. I guess that kind of takes us to tip number two as well. I organize stuff in sort of the workflow that I want to be using them in. Organize your pages in the order of what you want slash need to be doing during the day. So I have the stuff that's most important to me, et cetera, et cetera, uh, from, from the music all the way through different things. But I also have this organized so that I have uh, my music app right there. And then I have this stackable widget that can take me to a bunch of a bunch of different things really quickly. And this is contextual during the day. This will change from one thing to the next. So Apple just sort of recognizes how you're using your phone and it will change which one it puts on top throughout the day. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really pick any app that you want to put in here, but it's here. And then down here, I have a big Siri shortcuts window. Siri shortcuts is something that I've been wanting to dig into a lot more, and I just haven't really been able to do it. Now they've got it so that it's right here in front, and it's right here so that you can put your shortcuts in there. You can do it in a couple of different ways. Uh, you can edit the widget here, and you can do starter shortcuts or you can do all your shortcuts. I'm doing starter shortcuts because these are the ones I want to see on my device when I get to this page, okay? So the theory is that I'll start my day, I'll put on some music, I'll get my stuff going, and then I'll get to this page, and this page will be what I need to do next. Uh, daily journal. I try to write every day in some kind of journal, and this gives you the opportunity to handwrite, to create an entry from a prompt or open a previous one or, you know, just basically any kind of journal entry that you want. But I start my day sitting down at my desk with the journal stuff going on. And then there's plan three main tasks. So you just put in the three main tasks that you want to get done for the day. And uh, then Quick Tunes takes me to my top 25 uh, list of iTunes stuff, it just starts playing it. So those are the top 25 most played in Apple Music. Uh, work block is, I sort of try and do a Pomodoro style working thing where I work for 20 minutes or 25 minutes at a time and then I take uh, a break and then I work for another 20 minutes or 25 minutes at a time. So I have to take a break here and I can set that to however many minutes that I want, 25 or five or 15 or 10 or whatever. I often need to text my wife during the day. 
So this brings up a text to my wife. This nighttime one is a routine. I tap this and it starts a routine that will change all my lights and put on uh, do not disturb mode and, and a few different other things that I want to have happen uh, sort of at the end of the day. And then I have search YouTube in here as well. So these are all things, these, these widgets, the contextual smart widget, as well as these shortcuts that I want to have available to me at all times, uh, just right in front of my face at the beginning of the day. And then we slide over one more. I have the Siri suggested apps. These are usually the apps that you use most often or that you use most often during the day. I send a lot of tweets out, so I have a new tweet shortcut. I just tap, tap that and uh, there we go. We, we're tweeting. Podcasts. I don't listen to, I listen to podcasts quite often, but I don't listen to them as much as I want to listen to music. And then my my health stuff. Now, none of this is being read right now because I don't have an Apple Watch at this moment. I lost my Apple Watch uh, on vacation. So, <laughs> but this is here. So I can have this right in front of me. I've got three main pages. I've got this front page. I've got this, I guess, kind of work page, uh, productivity page. And then I've got this everything else that I might need throughout the day page. And then I've got my app library. So that's that's sort of like most used, most needed, most important, and, and then everything else. And it really stays compact. That takes us to number three. Consider your workflow or how you put your day together so that you can use the phone to help you be organized. And so we've explained a little bit of that over here on this slide over screen, I guess that used to be the notification widget screen. And I, I don't know what they call it now. If you know what they call it now, you can put it down in the comments below. But I've got my weather, I've got my notes app, because uh, notes, I take a lot of notes. I take a lot of notes and I just keep them all in the notes app. Notes app is right there. And then I have a hue uh, light widget that I need to fill out a little bit more. Um, Every day when I start the day, I get into Flipboard and I go through news and look for the tech stuff that's going on and just kind of keep myself up to date. Sometimes I do that before I get out of bed. <laughs> Sometimes I try and get out of bed before I do it. But that uh, Flipboard has been great for me. I've just enjoyed using Flipboard. Then down here I have my Kindle app so I can just dive into the book that I've been reading. And then uh, I try and do a little mindfulness meditation every morning. So for that, I have my daily calm from the Calm app. You just tap that guy open and it starts up your daily calm. Uh, yeah, I put all that stuff that I wanna have as a part of my day uh, right over here on this slide over screen. Then, as we said, the series shortcuts, the contextual stuff. This is considering my workflow. This is the page that I don't, I don't want to get past before I get over to this page, which is all stuff that will somewhat distract me from what I need to be doing. Uh, so this is why I use the series shortcuts as a way to sort of plot my day out. So considering your workflow for the time, for what you need to do during that day or what you do at certain times during the day is another really important tip for organizing. And now iOS 14 makes it a lot easier to do that. Tip number four is use the widgets that are available. And I know there aren't, the widgets aren't available for, for all apps. They aren't available for everything, but right here you have the, the ability to do most Apple related widgets like music and notes and photos and calendar and all that kind of stuff. You have the option to do some widgets for your most used things. And so for the most used stuff, put them in a widget and put them where you can easily tap so that you don't end up like having to go three levels deep before you can really start to do anything. Here with the music widget, I can just tap on it. I can start to listen to what I want to listen to, and then I can just jump right out of it. Same thing with podcast apps, same thing with these Siri shortcuts. Uh, you can leverage these things to, to put everything that you need right at your fingertips, literally now, in a way that it wasn't possible to do in iOS before these widgets in iOS 14 came along. As I said in my last video, 
I often use search just to find apps. So like I just pull down and I'll type, you know, I, whatever app I'm looking for, Twitter, let's say, and there's Twitter or Twitch or whatever. So I just typed two <laughs> letters and there's the app. But search is a lot more contextual. It offers a lot more than just that kind of search at this point. It's been enhanced. It's a little easier to get around. So you can do things like smart results and you can look inside of apps. I just recently did a video for a company called Enclave Audio. So say I need to look at the contract for that and I can just start to type E-N-C-L-A-V-E -E, and it gives me emails. It gives me all kinds of different things. It gives me the Enclave Audio app. It gives me some web results. It gives me the definition, but it also gets me into my email and that'll help me find my Enclave Audio stuff that I need to look at in the email much more quickly. And that works for things like, you know, any kind of contextual thing that you like. So say I need songs. I can look not only Am I looking here, but I've got folders and files with songs. I've got uh, mail with songs. I've got all kinds of different stuff. I can search notes and that's what, not, what I know I want to do. Songs I know, covers I know how to do. I'm right there instead of going into the notes app and having to, it's just right there. But let's say I'm looking for a particular song. So let's say I'm looking for a song by Waylon Jennings. Once I type in Waylon, we get, <laughs> Uh, Siri knowledge from Wikipedia. We get somebody who's named Waylon in my in my contacts. Then we get movies with Waylon Jennings. We get Waylon Kelly uh, email. Then we can search apps. We can search music. And right here, we've got all the Waylon Jennings I could possibly want to know. And search notes in lyrics. So here's a song that I wrote that references Waylon Jennings. So. All of that stuff is here in my notes, and I can get to all of that stuff from search. So that's the top five iOS 14 organization tips that will change your life. And I mean literally change your life. Your phone is the thing that you go to so often, so many times, and just start digging through. And instead of having just a bunch of apps on a bunch of different screens, you can make everything contextual to the time of day, the kind of work that you need to be doing, the kind of play that you need to be doing, or anything like that. And it can be organized by page, and it can be much more targeted than it used to be. So now I've got everything that I need for every different time of the day, every different kind of activity that I'm doing right here in front of me. And then if I don't, I've got it in the app library that I can search right away, or I can pull down and search contextually for whatever it is that I might be looking for and get not just web results, but in-app results and app results themselves and all different kinds of things. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Tell me what tips you have and uh, tell me what you think of the tips that I gave you. Anyway, that said, once again, my name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.